Hello E3 kids, it's always a joy to be with you all. I'm here and I'm excited because I have a lot of information to share with you today. Feel free to get a pen and paper and write some of this information down. Um, I wanted to first of all mention the outreach party which is coming on next week the 29th. It's at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? And so depending on which continent you're on, it may be different, but it's 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and it's going to be on Zoom. The Zoom details will be shared with your parents. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see you all. So please do, do, do well to attend and please invite someone. So that was one of the first things I wanted to share with you. Um, the second thing is the lesson for this week. It's from 2 Chronicles 10 and the title is Je Jehovah um, Listens to Fools. So you can already tell what we're going to talk about. Okay, we, we don't want any E3 kid listening to anything unwise. So we're definitely going to talk. We will talk after we watch the video. Um, so I wanted to tell you about the outreach party. We wanted to also mention the lesson for this week. And then finally, 
our memory verse for this week. Do you all remember? Um, you know that we can always ask when we do speak to God, when we pray to God and speak to him for his help with uh, memorizing all these verses. I, I don't know if you guys still remember this year. The, the message that the Lord gave our lead pastor, Lusolo, is that he's ushering us to new levels. So we're trying to do stuff like people who have been ushered to new levels, okay? And the Lord gives us the grace to do that. Um, I know it's almost the end of August, and depending on um, which continent you're on, you may be getting ready for um, school, the new school year, okay? So that means that we're making new friends even though we're keeping some of them the old ones but we're making new friends and we need to be very very careful about the friends that we make because the friends that we make have an impact on our lives so we need to be very careful about the friends we make that's number one another thing is we also want to be good godly friends to our friends so we want to positively impact them we want to help them to make good decisions. We want to teach them all that we are learning. The stuff that we learn, we're not just to keep it to ourselves, but we're supposed to share it with our friends and our neighbors and our cousins and everyone that we know. So let's also make sure that we are positively being, positively impacting the people around us. So this new school year, when we go to school, we want to be that kid in the classroom that's listening to all the rules and the instructions, okay? So we want to be great leaders, you know? Um, we're the head and not the tail. We're the ones that the Lord has blessed and given divine wisdom. And so we're gonna be civil, we're going to be the kind student. We're going to be the ones that use our listening ears, indoor voices when we are indoors. Like all the things that you've learned since you're little, we're going to put it into action so that our classmates can also follow. We're not giving our teachers a hard time this new um, school year. We're going to do all our homework. We're going to pay attention. We're going to take note. We're going to do all the things that we know we need to do. And, and we can ask God for guidance. We can ask for his assistance. So we will do just that. I'm going to share two verses with you. One from Daniel and one from Proverbs. Okay. Let's see. So the one from Proverbs is from Proverbs 13, 20. It says, whoever spends time with wise people will become wise but whoever makes friends with fools will suffer and so if you don't know what the meaning of um, suffer is you want to look it up suffering is not anything we wish for ourselves so let's not listen to fools so so we don't even have to suffer let's listen to wise counsel okay so that we will be what also wise and then i mentioned two i said one from daniel daniel 1 17 and this is another verse that i i it is my prayer that you'd read from time to time or have your mom or your older sibling read to you it's from daniel 1 17 and it says god gave these four men wisdom and the ability to learn it's longer than that, but I just wanted to touch on these two things, that God is the one who gives us wisdom and the ability to learn. Okay, so as we start this new school year, let us always remember to ask God for the ability to learn all kinds of literature. It does not matter what the subject is, be it math, English, science, French, God is able to give us the ability to learn it if we ask him. So let's not forget to be asking God for the ability to learn every, everything we will be taught this year. So basically, 
that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you took notes. I hope you reflect on this. I hope you remember this and I hope you put them to action. But for now, we are going to go over our memory verse from James 1, 5. Do you remember it? Okay, I'll give you a minute to go look over and then when I come back, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll recite it together. See you soon. Friends, are you ready? James 1, 5. If any of you needs wisdom, you should ask God for it. He will give it to you. God gives freely to everyone and doesn't find fault. Friends, let's continue to ask God to help us to remember this and to dwell on it and to think about it because we want God to give us wisdom to help us to make good choices and we want God to give us wisdom and the ability to learn anything and everything. Amen. So at this, um, we'll, I'd like to give us the opportunity to watch the video and then we'll come back and go over a few points and then say a prayer. All right, enjoy the video. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Second Chronicles, Chapter 10. For over 40 years, King Solomon ruled over Israel. During that time, he did some pretty amazing things, like building a breathtaking temple for the Lord and a beautiful palace for himself. He received visitors from all over the world. He shared with others the wisdom God had given him. Much of this wisdom can be found in the book of Proverbs, including this advice on how to gain wisdom. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Unfortunately, Solomon's son, Rehoboam, did not pay attention to his father's words. He believed his way was best. And when Solomon died, Rehoboam became king of Israel. All hail, All hail king, king Rehoboam! Wow, check me out! Golden crown, spiffy palace, this is the life! Though the kingdom was strong under Solomon, he made the people work extremely hard now the Israelites wanted to see how this new king would treat them. Led by a man named Jeroboam, they came to see the king. Hey, you stole my name. It's Jeroboam, not Rehoboam. <laughs> Whatevs, Jer. Now what do you want? Your father made us work very hard. Let us take more breaks and we'll serve you well. Sounds like you want to slack off. We just need a little more vacay time. Then we'll be ready to give it all we got. Uh, well... Come back in three days, Jer. Jeroboam and the Israelites left. Rehoboam paced the floor, trying to come up with a good answer. Yeah, no, maybe. Many times when Solomon needed wisdom, he asked God for it. Rehoboam didn't bother to talk to God, but he did at least talk to his father's wise advisors. The people want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Be kind to them. Absolutely. Give them what they're asking for. You'll win their loyalty that way. Then they will serve you well. Huh. Instead of taking the advice of these wise men, Rehoboam decided to ask his buddies, the guys he had grown up with. He found them eating honey cakes and debating racing chariots. Gotta go with gold rims is what I say. Nah, gold is all show. You have to add some diamonds for traction. Hey guys. Yo. What is up, my man? People want me to give them a break so they don't have to work so hard. What do you say? Oh, this is good. You get to do the real king stuff now. You gotta show them who's boss. <laughs> they think your dad was tough? Tell them my pinky finger's stronger than my daddy's legs. <laughs> yeah, and, and my dad gave you a heavy load but you haven't seen nothing yet. I am gonna lay it on you. <laughs> Rehoboam frowned. 
He thought hard for two whole seconds. Whoa, you guys are good. I'm totally doing that. After three days, Jeroboam and the Israelites with him returned. Hey, Jer. Your Majesty, will you lighten the heavy workload your father gave us? <laughs> my pinky finger is stronger than my father's legs. My father put a heavy load on your shoulders, but I'll make it even heavier. My father punished stragglers. I'll double it up. Rehoboam finished with a flourish. He waited for people to tremble and bow low. Are you kidding me? Jeroboam turned to the Israelites. We don't want anything to do with this joker or the rest of David's family. Let's go back to our homes and start our own kingdom. Yeah! Hey, hey, wait. No, no, you can't do that. I'm in charge. Yeah, you're in charge of yourself. Good luck with that. Jeroboam and the men with him marched out and returned to their homes. From that day, the nation was split into two kingdoms. Rehoboam still ruled in Judah, but Jeroboam was made king of Israel. Totally not my fault. Rehoboam failed to listen to his father's own words. Walk with wise people and become wise. A companion of foolish people suffers harm. Rehoboam's foolishness nearly cost him all of the kingdom. Well, so after watching the video, I have three words of caution for you. That as you start the new school year, may you choose wise friends may you be a wise friend and may you only accept good advice i'd like us to use this opportunity to pray to god father lord i commit all the eight week kids into your hands father as they start the new school year and make new friends may you god give them the freedom to choose wisely to choose wise friends may you O oh lord cause them to be a positive impact in their schools and their communities and may they O oh lord be wise friends to their friends and father give them the wisdom that you alone can give to only choose and receive good advice Father, we pray and we commit all the E3 kids into your hands. Father, that you will protect them from harm. You will protect them from ungodly friendships. And that your peace and your wisdom will be their portion. May they, O oh Lord, be excellent students because you will give them the wisdom to understand everything that they are taught. May they, O oh Lord, be good examples in their homes in their communities and in their schools this we ask in jesus mighty name amen friends i can't wait to see you at the outreach party please 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 do attend and do invite someone all right until we meet it is my prayer that you will walk in the wisdom of the lord thank you and have a good one